Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Orphan Last, and today is the day I complete my very first animation ever. And I'm serious about that. This is genuinely my very first animation ever. Like, there, there is one exception to that. Uh, there was that, uh, that other animation that I showed you a while back where there was that character that jumped through the window and all that. But this is my first animation that I've ever done, started, completed, and rendered, and with the intent to put this on the internet, um, to, to publish it on the internet, and that's pretty exciting for me, actually. And uh, let me go ahead and do one thing really quick here with the edit tool. Let me figure things out. Okay, cool. All right, so everything is lined, everything is good, and... Uh, <clears throat> We can go ahead and render this. Now, the first thing that you need to know is uh, you need to go into your output settings. And you need to get familiar with this to some extent. Like here, you have the ability to uh, customize your cameras and stuff like that. You can uh, tell it how many pixels by how many pixels you want it to render at and what the DPI is, dots per inch. And uh, honestly, I haven't really messed with this information at all. Uh, but for those of you that happen to know a lot about film and everything, please give me feedback. Actually, leave a comment in my video about what is a really good resolution and what sort of camera size uh, is ideal. Um, I, I'm assuming this has something to do with um, the size of the camera and everything. I, I haven't really dealt with any of this much. But like this is uh, some in interesting information. Now you can also go to other settings, but there is no scroll wheel here. There's no way to, to scroll up and down, and you can't resize the window. Like I, I guarantee it, you, you're not able to resize the window at all. Um, it doesn't give that option like it does with any other window. Like for example, see that? Totally do that with that one, but you can't do it with this. So what you need to do in order to see all this stuff, you can't you can't just move this up any further than than that. So what you need to do is you just need to minimize the camera settings in order to see other settings. And then once you need to go back, you just go there. There. Now in file settings, this is the most important thing because this is how you're going to export your file, and uh, you need it to uh, you need to put in a path as to where you want it to save the file. So for me, I go um, into my documents, my files, um, and uh, the, which is a file I created, and uh, I also anchored it right here. So this is where it, 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 it goes. I've actually already rendered it just to make sure that this process works. Now, <clears throat> with me having already done this, there are like I'm not going to necessarily follow through with the the steps. I'm just going to show you the steps. Now, when you first get, uh, not well, I'll follow through with most of the steps, just not all of them. When you first get Open Tunes, MP4 is not a format that you can do. Now you can go ahead and and like if you, if you go to BMP or JPEG or uh, stuff like that, it's going to render each and every single frame individually as a single image. At least that's the way I understand it, and that's really annoying. So MP4, you're going to want MP4. It's pretty much the industry standard as far as I'm concerned. It's like, what what program doesn't have MP4? Uh, so, and, and rest assured, OpenTunes does have that option. I mean, you just saw it instead of uh, output settings from file output settings. Uh, MP4 is available. You see it right there. And all these other file formats I'm really not interested in unless I want to make a meme with a GIF. Okay, so, I, like, honestly, that's that's all that I ever want uh, to, to out, uh, like to export things as, uh, or to render things as. So, uh, first of all, what you need to do is you need to go into here and go into, uh, preferences and import export. Okay. So general interface visualization loading import export. You click on that and, uh, this is what you, the information that you're going to need to fill in. So you're going to go onto this website in the browser. I have a, uh, a link inside of the video description that, uh, you can click on to get on to this site. Okay. Now what you do, first of all, first and foremost is, uh, you go ahead and I guess you click on download. Okay. Oh crap. No, actually you don't do that. Okay. So once, once you click on this, uh, once you click on the link in the video description and you wind up here, uh, you click on 
uh, what platform you're using. In my case, I'm using Windows. Windows Builds, and uh, you click on that. Now, you need a like. You may not know what uh, sort of um, um, uh, operating system you have. It may be 64-bit or 32-bit, and this does matter. Okay, so how do you find out? Well, I'm going to go here and type in my computer, okay? So you go into my computer, or this PC as they call it nowadays, and you right-click inside here where it's device and drivers and stuff, properties, and I don't care if you guys get to see... Oh, well, one second here. Let me... Let's see. Properties. It should be right here. Yeah, okay. So I have a 64-bit system on uh, where it says system type. And so um, yours will say 32-bit if it's a 32-bit or 64-bit if it's a 64-bit. So I select 64-bit and click download FFmpeg, okay? And once it's done doing that... You just go into here, you, you, you basically, here, let me close out of this and open it up again, fresh. When you open it up, it'll be right here, like you'll go downloads, okay, and then you'll find FFmpeg, okay, and then you need to find a place for it to go. So you go control X to, co uh, to cut it out of here, and then for me, I went into uh, documents, okay. And we can see FFmpeg right here. And then what I did is I, I right-clicked it and went Extract All. What that did is it created this, okay? And inside of the bin, if you right-click here and go Properties, you can see that it says that it's a .exe file. And so that's the file that OpenTunes needs to be able to access. So for me, in my case, in my situation, and it doesn't matter where the FFmpeg file is placed on your computer, just as long as you can remember where it is, uh, because when OpenTunes gets a, an update later on, you may have to locate it again. So uh, you go into here, into OpenTunes, and so for me, I go ahead and go into, okay, C drive, uh, so OneDrive, Documents, bin and then uh yeah ffmpeg bin and so that that's where it is and uh so let's go ahead and uh, uh what, what you'll do at that point after you tell the path of where the ffmpeg is inside of the import export uh preferences uh you'll close down open tunes okay and then what you'll do is you'll open it up again Come on, open up, open, open. All right, cool. Open Tunes is opening up. Okay, so let's get this shindig started. Okay, once you got that done, you go into a uh, file and then render. Control Shift R for short, and then it starts the rendering process. And uh, you don't necessarily have to stare at this all the time. You can actually move this around, and then you can go into your browser and watch YouTube videos, I guess, and. Uh, just make sure that you don't press cancel okay so i'll resume the video once it's finished um you may need to create a path as to where it exports to or where, where it renders to but you know that's not a big deal you just you do that inside of the uh file and out, output settings and stuff like that you can figure it out it's not that hard to figure out i figured it out on my own so you can too Actually, I'm an idiot. You need to go File, Output Settings, make sure that it's MP4 right here. And then, yeah, okay, I'll go ahead and describe it. So File Settings, Save In, and then you create your path as to what, what file you want it to save in, okay? So that's how, how, how you do it, all right? So let's go ahead and resume the uh, render. So render. Okay, I have less than 40 seconds to get through this, and uh, as you can see, it's almost finished. And uh, so I just go into the location where the file is being rendered, and uh, hmm, let me pause it because it's doing something. Okay, so it fully rendered it. We can double-click it. Come on, open. Okay, so here it is. Final product. Hell yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you for joining me. This is Orphan Last. Please like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment. Leave a comment. Please leave a comment.